Okay, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a full cold messaging automation setup guide. I'm going to be walking you through how you can literally send 500 DMs per day on autopilot. Like, you don't even have to do the DMs manually. Um, this has taken me months and months to figure out. So the fact that I'm putting this into a video for you guys for free is mind blowing. And I cannot actually believe I'm doing this, but here, here it goes anyway. So this will blow your mind. And the best part is I'm, we're gonna, it's going to be fully automated, right? So you don't have to send a single DM ever again. I'm not going to talk too much because I generally want to show you what this is and how crazy it is. So I'm going to get right into it. Now, first things first, we need to set up the profiles correctly. I see a lot of beginners making the mistake of, you know, having an agency account. Now, this is a massive mistake because when you reach out to a prospect on an agency account, they already know you're going to sell them something, which is not what we want. We want them to be curious. We want them to be intrigued. And that is the main reason why people respond. And more importantly, why people put calls. So we're not having this sort of, you know, the bio, the marketing agency. No, this is not what we want. We want just your personal account. Now, as long as there's no, as long as there's no stupid photos of you drinking and doing, you know, degenerate behavior, then you should be good. Um, you know, you can keep it simple. Just have like three to five photos of you just casually or, you know, semi-professionally. You know, this isn't the best, but like, it's just personal. Like, it doesn't really matter. This is what you need. Um, and I've actually created a checklist for you. So a personal account with three plus casual photos. Now, obviously, I put professional, the better, the more professional, the better. Um, but yeah, they don't have to be you in a suit. I'm just putting that out there. Then we're going to have four to 10 accounts. Now, the reason for this is it depends. It also depends on how many messages you want to send every single day. So if you only want to send 100 messages a day, then you probably need two or three accounts. However, if you want to send 500 plus DMs, then it can be done, but you just need about 10 Instagram accounts. Now, how do you get 10 Instagram accounts? You can either create new emails and just set it up that way, so manually, or you can buy aged Instagram accounts. Um, yeah, it's, it's really up to you. Um, and then what you're going to do right, is once you've created these accounts, you're going to follow all the other accounts. So there's no confusion. So a lot of people ask me, you know, either in the DMs or just on emails is how do you make sure that you don't reach out to the same prospect twice or three times? And you do that by following your other accounts. Now, the reason this works is because when you're about to message someone, it will say followed by, you know, Charlie, for example. So if you follow the other accounts, then you'll know that if you're following them then that means you reached out to them basically so if you do uh, just you know make new accounts then i recommend waiting 15 days um for the new account to warm up because if you didn't know that instagram has the new icon under any account that is under 15 days old so you can either wait 15 days and it'll also you know make it so it warm up because if you immediately create an account and then try to send you know 50 60 dms a day it probably won't let you so just like cold emails we need to let these accounts warm up um, but it shouldn't take too long. Really simple to set up. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Now we need to get the leads into a Google Sheet. And I have found an amazing tool. So I'm glad I can share this with you guys. But it's called Bardeen. Now what you need to do is you need to get this free tool from the store. I think you can go onto the Google Marketplace and you'll find it. Um, and then essentially what you're going to do is you're going to put it as an extension really easy to do you're going to create it as an extension just like it is up here on the top right and i'll show you how we're going to use it because it's going to be a live walkthrough but then we're going to create an instagram profile and follow as many prospects as you can or you can go to a business in your niche so let's say you're working with i don't know realtors you can go to a real estate like instagram page and you can click on their following and you're going to find that they follow like other real estate businesses so it's a great way to find leads because you're just clicking on their like following and they're going to be following other real estate sort of businesses. Now we're going to use Bardeen, which is an automation lead um, scraping tool for like cold messaging to get the followers into a Google Sheets. This is really crucial. and I'm actually going to walk you through it right now. It's really simple. Um, sorry if my face is a bit dark. Hopefully the value is what you want, not my face, but um, we'll keep on going. So I've just gone on to Airbnb, for example, obviously, if you wanted to do your own like following, you can just create your own Instagram account and follow everyone in your niche that you want to reach out to. And then, but I've just gone for Airbnb to show you how you can do this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on their following. 
Now, obviously, this is who they're following, but the reason for this is we're going to go to Bardeen. Now, you should uh, you should have it as an extension, just like I told you. And I've already created a playbook, but if you're new, what you're going to do is you're going to click a create new playbook. Now, what this does is it allows you to add actions and triggers to get started. And the best part is you can actually get this for free. Like I'm not even affiliated with it. It's just an amazing software. So what you're going to do is you're going to create the first like action, which is going to be scrape data on active tab. Once you've done that, as you can see, it's put in here. Now you can put, um, let's do Instagram profile followers by Bardeen, or just, you can do whatever you want. I'm just doing this for example to show you. So it's going to scrape um, data on active tab and more specifically, it's going to scrape Instagram profile followers by Bardeen. And then you can sort of put number of list items to extract. So let's say you want a thousand. I'll just do a hundred just because to make it easy. So you put a hundred number of pages. I don't know, you just put 10 or something. It, this isn't too, it's, you can sort of change this to what you want. Um, and then you can just put get random number. And then let me show you what it says. And then you click done done now once you've done that you can then add one so we need to add a new action and we're going to put google sheets so add um we're going to do da, da, da. so it's going to be add rows to google sheets um and then you can obviously what you're going to do is you're going to create a google sheet with name so we're creating a new google sheet for where we want all the leads to go into on instagram so it's going to scrape everything and we can just call it whatever you want. You can just call it like, I'll call it YouTube. Oh, I spelled that wrong. My bad. YouTube. Um, I'll just put demo for you guys. And then we're essentially going to add a column. Now, this is what you want to call it. So obviously here, we need to do this first. So what do you want to call it? We can just call it um, IG lead leads. Um, we're going to click done and then this is going to essentially we're going to scrape data on active tab and we're going to do links and then we're going to click done so as you can see now it's got it's going to scrape data and it's going to add the data to a google sheet and then from there we're going to use another free software to essentially send the outreach but now we just need to scrape the leads to get them into a google sheet to the point where we can send it so you're going to click done I'm not going to do that because I've already done it. So I'm just going to get this card because I've got it here. And now what you're going to do is you're going to click on it. And if you set it up correctly, it should just do this and it should just work. So it's running a scrape data on active tab using scraper template Instagram profile followers by Bardeen. It's absolutely crazy. So I'm just going to let it do it. I don't know how many I put, maybe a hundred, but as you can see, it's just done it in a matter of like seconds. <laughs> it's got a hundred leads for you. Obviously you can do as many as you want. And now if we click view, look at it, it's literally put a hundred leads. Obviously I could have done more, but I just did a hundred. Um, and yeah, you've got Instagram URL. Now we've done this, we have successfully, I'm gonna leave it open to show you what you're gonna do now. Da -da -da. So now we need to create a shortcut for your first cold message. So I'll be walking you through this and showing you how this is done. So if you're on MacBook, you can go to settings and do, um, you know, text shortcut. But if you aren't on MacBook, then you need to just get like a, there's loads of Chrome extensions where you can do this. But the point of this is that when you like send a message, it's going to be a shortcut. So when you put like an abbreviation, it's then going to put out like the full like message. So I'll show you what this looks like for me. So if I go to settings and touch keyboard shortcuts um, then go to text you can see I've got a bunch but you're essentially going to add one and you can just put whatever so I'll put VVV don't know why I put that but and then you're going to put what you want for the first message so like this could be whatever you want for the first cold message now I recommend a so if you want my recommendation on how to get the highest response rate, you're going to ask an open-ended yes question. Now, what does that mean? That means that whatever niche you're in, let's say you work with dentists, you're going to say, hey, name, um, do you offer V&Ears? 
it's in it's not you're not selling anything that or you're not selling them anything in the first message you're going to be like telling them basically no just asking them sorry do they offer xyz now the reason for that is because if you didn't know if you pitch in the first like message you're going to be stuck in their requests meaning that they won't see it and what we're trying to do is we're trying to provoke a response and start a conversation because once you've done that then you can pitch them and they're going to be they're going to actually see the uh, message so i'm just going to put hey um name uh so hey name i'll, I'll just use that example do you offer oh my bad then hopefully that's how you spell it and then you're going to click enter so now when we do vvv it's going to you know put that out which is important so now let's go back to this and now obviously if you don't have a macbook just you know download a chrome extension that can do the same thing it's really simple now we're going to download merga or jitbit if you're on macbook you do merga if you're on um if you're not on macbook anything else you're going to use jitbit i think i spelled the um the thing wrong but it's jitbit.com um and they're both macro recorders that can record the action of doing one outreach and then play it back so you can do as many outreach as you want. This means we can send unlimited personalized messages without even doing anything. All you have to do is click one button and it's going to be able to send hundreds of DMs. Crazy. Um, so before we get into it, so before we do a live walkthrough, there's some key notes. Make sure the only tab open is the Google Sheets with the leads on it. So in a minute, I'm going to close... Um, this tab to show you how it works and the only tab you're going to have open when running this software is going to be the google sheets that's it that's all you need if you have the other ones it'll mess up the placement meaning that when you play it back it will like mess it up but that's an example and then we're going to make sure you've created a quick button to stop and start the recording and make sure you've created a quick button to stop start the playback now you're going to watch me do a live walkthrough on how this works so I'm going to shut this tab just like I instructed. It, you just want this tab open. I'm even going to close this one. And once you've downloaded either Merga or Chitbit, I'm going to click on the software so you can see and explain a little bit about, about how it works. So as you can see, here's a number. This is how many times you want the software to play back the recording. So let's say you want to do 50 um, cold messages. You'd put 50 and click enter. That's really important, put how many you want. However, one thing to note is that per Instagram account, I only recommend setting like 30 at a time. So maybe just switch that to 30 and then every time it does 30 messages, you just switch the Instagram account and do another 30 just by clicking a button. So now we're gonna have a key to stop start recording. You're gonna click it and you're gonna click Command R just for the simple. And then um, a key to start and stop the playback, I do Command S, so click that and boom. Now, what this means is that it's a shortcut. So when we click Command R from now on, it's going to start recording. And when we click Command R, it's going to stop the recording. And the same goes for when we're trying to start and stop the playback. Now, let's go back into the Google Sheet and actually do like a live walkthrough of what this looks like. I'm just going to click it to see if it makes me log in. Okay, awesome. It doesn't make me log in. So let's actually do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to place the... You want to, you're going to select the one above the Instagram URL. And you're going to put your cursor on a letter or it could be anything, anything on this page, but it has to be the same place every single time. Now, what I mean by that is, let's say we're going to do a S for leads up here. So you're going to keep your cursor on there and you, you don't like touch it. You just leave it on there and you're going to start a playback, start a recording. Sorry. So recording started. then we're going to use the down arrow on our keyboard to go down. So as you can see, it's gone down and then we're going to do um, control C, control T to open the tab and then control V and paste. And it's going to paste the tab. So now we're going to go down and we're going to click, double click and go to inspect. I'm just showing you like how it works slowly. And then we're going to essentially, if it doesn't, um, if the name is like if the following message isn't under the name, then you're going to click this one and then click it again. So it's like this. So it's on mobile, basically, um, not laptop, because if it's on like um, laptop or like computer, then the net the following the message will be in a different place each time and it will mess up the recording. So you have to make sure that it's under and then we're going to follow. 
and we're going to click message. Okay, so now when we do VVV, just like I explained later and we set up a shortcut, so VVV and click spacebar, it's going to do the full name. I've just done a recording myself. I've sped it up. So if you're wondering, uh, I've sort of cut to this part because, you know, it takes a few times to like get it correct. So I've done it and now I'm going to play it back. So I'm going to show you how it works without me touching anything. So you're going to click Command S Playback and I'm not touching anything. So this is doing automated personalized like Instagram outreach. Obviously, this can be done for, you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, anything, but I'm not touching anything. So it's doing this all like fully automated. So what it's going to do right, is it's going to um, follow the person like fully automated. It's going to follow them and now it's going to send them a message um, just, you know, using this macro recorder. So as you can see, VVV, hey name, do you offer V and is? Um, so and then it's going to close the tab and it's literally going to run it down. So it's going to do the exact same thing time and time again. Um, like well, it could do as many as you want. Now, obviously, if you're wondering why it says hey name, you can just add their name in the Google Sheet and it will be like personalized, like outreach. Um, I'm gonna have to unsend these messages because I don't really want people like seeing this, but um, you get the point. So if you want like the hey name, then you just need to put their name in like a Google Sheet. So you can put like a, a name section and then use Bardeen and it will scrape their names essentially. And then you can just go back to the Google Sheet and paste it in. So it's really simple. Um, and I've just sort of shown you how to do it. But a few things to note is that you need to have this tab open only. You can't have any other tabs. Um, and yeah, it's absolutely insane. So I recommend using this a lot because you can do unlimited personalized Instagram outreach now. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. It can be done for LinkedIn, Facebook. So the more creative you get, the better, I guess. Um, but yeah, I hope this video helped and I know a lot of you have been wondering how I do this. So here you go and I look forward to seeing the next video. Like, comment and subscribe. A lot of you guys are not subscribed. So hit the subscribe button and yeah, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.